I thought I could tune out these people and for the most part I am successful in that. But today I went out to look for my kitty and I heard a very young child give a loud wail from behind the partition fence outside the house across the alley where the man who I believe is a pedophile for money comes and goes. Immediately the back door opened and one of the women who comes and goes, um, the man is there uh, alone sometimes, she came out and picked up the baby and carried him into the house. The little boy was blonde with little chubby legs, just a beautiful little boy, about two to almost three. The pedophile appeared from the shed next to the partition and followed them inside, closing the bright red door. I got so upset, I stood there for a while, but heard nothing more. I went back inside reluctantly, full of anxiety for the child. I decided to go back outside, and I stood in my driveway, but didn't hear anything. I did, however, feel uh, a decidedly sexual feeling. So I went across the alley and stood in uh, <clears throat> and stood in the alley near nearer to their house. Um, I thought I could hear high-pitched screaming, very faint very faint so I wasn't even sure about it but I, I did hear something um, that prompted me to get my car key and drive around to the front where I could get the the address the address the front door is bright red too I think uh, it was yesterday I was in the yard with the puppy and saw the woman pull up and back into their driveway in the urine colored car that used to be there infrequently but that I hadn't seen in a while. She got a little boy out of the back seat from a car seat I assumed and carried him into the house. All I saw was his chubby little legs dangling behind her arm as she busily carried him in. I don't know what to do. There's I don't know what to do. There's an older boy about seven there too, as per usual. I should mention that one day, not too long ago, maybe a week or two ago, their back door was open and inside it looked pretty empty, pretty empty. But I mean, it didn't look like a lived in house. It just looked like it was dim, it was dark. Uh, but it was daytime and I could see somewhat in there um, and uh, so I couldn't see uh, wait, uh, the door was open and inside it looked pretty empty but dim so I couldn't see much but the curious thing was that there seemed to be equipment set up or so I thought not knowing much having much to do with that sort of stuff you know like uh, photo equipment or you know video or whatever um, in particular, I saw what I thought was a light for photography or video uh, on a long pole stand. Um, this man um, looks military with a sort of a bubble butt. Short dark hair. She has dark hair too, shoulder length, a little curly. She's very, she's uh, like five two or something just pretty short um, and I got the impression that she's strong that she, you know that she's a strong person they are here for a short while and then they disappear for a while um, but they always come back at least he does the most in consistently uh, uh, you know alone they were here just a week or so ago with I believe different children because I saw the toddler on the front of his bike and his bicycle and this baby looked much smaller um, although probably the same age but smaller in stature than or a smaller build than the one I saw today um, once again I have to ask myself is this real <laughs> and are they pedophiles plying their evil trade 
how do they get these children foster care um, from other states and then they kidnap kidnap them to different locations such as this house with the two red doors um, how do these other activities in this neighborhood fit in with all this with this are they all one organization performing multiple crimes for hire videoing some of uh, some of them like the dog killing um, I saw the usual dog walking yesterday and one blonde woman in particular caught my eye who was walking a big black dog. She kept fiddling with her hair and fidgeting, not able to be still within herself. Um, I felt she, she and a lot of these young people and homeless people and really all ages um, and um, backgrounds get paid in drugs um, could be I mean it's something I thought of then then show up for church on Sundays um, the next door lady has not been yelling for about two days I heard a different woman's voice yesterday and today the daughter I saw yesterday the new one yelled a little bit but not much I've been to the authorities multiple times, but get nothing. I don't know what to do. Uh, but the other thing I ask myself is, are they gaslighting me? That's a completely different thing. You know, There's there might be a whole reason for this organization, organized crime. Um, gang stalking me, trying to get me to appear unhinged for reasons I haven't deduced yet. Um, were they hired? because I've been bilked out of an inheritance that should have gone to me and these people were hired as professionals to get the job done so the thieves won't get caught you know with with all that those piles of money that I've inherited <laughs> um, which is I mean there are extenuating circumstances about that that's why I think that possibly you know, it's a possibility. That's why I think it's a poss possibility. Because it, it could be a possibility. Um, are there hidden cameras in my home? Are they videoing me? Uh, am I famous in Italy? Um, another thing about the little boy. He was carried both si times I saw him. Can he walk? <laughs> 